Thank you. You all may be seated. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Quinn School. I'm Kyle Granfield, the principal, and I'm very happy to have everyone here tonight on this beautiful little windy but very nice night. So thank you all for being here. Tonight, we recognize the accomplishments of this fifth grade class, but before we get to the students, we wanted to take a moment to recognize and say thank you to very special staff members that I'm gonna introduce at this time. Mr. Bowman, fifth grade teachers. These are all of our fifth grade teachers that I'm naming right now. Mrs. Deterra. Mrs. Feely. Mr. Wildman. Ms. Mello, Ms. Smith, and Mrs. Rosa. Some other staff that I'd like to rec recognize tonight. Um, first, I'd like to introduce the staff that you see anytime that you're in the main office who do everything to support students, families. They set up the entire arrangement here tonight that you see for decorations. Um, I'd like to introduce Mrs. Hart and Mrs. Vasconcelos, who are over near the American flag. Next, um, I'd like to introduce the two assistant principals, Dr. Thomas and Mrs. Yermolovich, who I personally can't thank enough for all the support um, that the day-to-day -day operations that happen here. It's a real team approach, and I'm so thankful to have them to them. And finally, um, you'll notice that we have a good amount of staff behind us right now. And I know there's many other staff that I've seen that are kind of mixed in the crowd um, here as well tonight to support our fifth grade graduates. At this time, if able, um, we ask if you could all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. And we have the American flag opening at the um, gym doors. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. So it's my privilege to be able to stand up here tonight. We are here to recognize and celebrate this group of exceptional fifth grade students. You've all tr truly risen to the occasion, led by example, and effectively embodied what it means to be role models at the Quinn School. Most of you started with us in kindergarten, and it has been our pleasure to watch you grow. Every year, we take pride in the Quinn students that we send up to the Dartmouth Middle School. And each and every one of you should be proud of the work that you've put in to conquer your elementary career. This is a time when you are probably feeling many different emotions, excited for summer, excited to make new friends, excited to gain the independence that middle school brings, but at the same time, sad to leave the halls of Quinn, and maybe even a little scared or nervous about lies ahead. As you prepare for the new adventure that awaits you, Remember to not fear the unexpected, but embrace it knowing that this, the time that you spent at Quinn has prepared you for what's to come. The transition to middle school is a new beginning, a time to meet new friends, create new experiences, and an, and an opportunity to continue to grow and achieve. Throughout the time that you've spent at Quinn, we've watched in amazement as you've grown into the person that you are today. We'll be watching with great anticipation to see what you become in the future. For every goal you aspire to achieve, we wish you nothing but the best of luck and confidence you need to make your dreams come true. At Quinn School, I respect you, I respect me, I respect everything I see. Always remember to embrace our school motto, take responsibility for your actions, persevere when things are tough, tell the truth even when it may be difficult, because things that are the hardest to do are usually the things that are the right thing to do. We know that each and every one of you can do anything that you set your mind to. Never give up on yourself, never pass up on an opportunity, and try, to, um, and, try and believe that you can do very hard things. Above all, enjoy the things you set out to do. Take the time to stop and be grateful for all of your accomplishments. Find positive reflection in any mistake that comes your way 
And lastly, go out there and show the, ver the world the best version of you. To all the parents, I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude for entrusting us with the education and care of your children. Your unwavering support and encouragement have been invaluable, and it is thanks to your partnership that we have been able to nurture these young minds and help them reach their full potential. So congratulations to everybody here tonight. Thank you very much. At this time, I'm going to ask Dr. Thomas to come up to talk about our PO Leader program. Thank you, Mr. Granfield. I am so pleased to have the opportunity tonight to acknowledge our 46, yes, I said 46, fifth grade peer leaders. These students went through a rigorous application and interview process where they had to receive recommendations from teachers as well as their peers. They have proven to be a dynamic and amazing group of students who work so well together. These students worked throughout the year to brainstorm, plan, and execute projects that improved our school community, as well as bigger projects that benefited the community at large. In the fall, these peer leaders developed an ambitious list of projects for the school year and worked hard to accomplish many of their goals in which they went above and beyond to be successful. Over the course of the year, the peer leaders collected non-perishable food items to donate to the Dartmouth United Outreach Food Bank. I don't want it to blow away. For the Super Bowl of Caring. They also donated new books from the Scholastic Book Fair to children living with their families in local family homeless shelters and to a local children's hospital. The peer leaders wrote personalized notes of appreciation to teachers and staff that were put in their mailboxes for Teacher Appreciation Day and created a bulletin board in the teacher's room. They attended and volunteered their time at the Quinn Trivia Night the Quinn Literacy Night, and the Quinn STEAM Night, and participated in the Massachusetts Aggression Reduction Center Bullying Prevention Contest out of Bridgewater State University. I am exhausted just stating all of the accomplishments, never mind doing them. They truly are our future leaders. Fifth grade peer leaders, when I call your name, will you please stand up? And families, if you don't mind holding your applause until the end, as I have a lot of students to call. Eva Samoish, Mason Chase, Sophia Dutra, Gracie St. Laurent, Julia Thomas, Alexa Aguiar, Cameron Bollier, Christian Bebo, Sophia Brazida, Kyle Shavs, Adriana De Silva, Jax DeMello, Eva Doyle, Taylor Hill, Peyton Medeiros, Maya Negron, Lacey Pacheco, Emily Steele, Avery Vieira, Jaslyn Alves, Skylar Benjamin, Lucas Diaz, London Edgecombe, Tyler Hamilton, Violet Leonardo, Colin Magner, Morgan Nadu, Ava Rudolph, Michaela Santiago, Owen Valois, Ava Amaral, Caleb Coleman, Emma Ostegi, Leilani Silvera, Jeffrey Silvia, Aurelia Tufano, Anna Erotokritakis, Julia Francisi, Nora McNeil, Ava Medeiros, Scarlett Malachi, Avery Mello, Ronnie Patel, Olivia Pyers, Landon Velozo, and Manny Washburn. A big round of applause, please. Thank you, boys and girls. You can take a seat. I would also like to thank Mrs. Tiffany Martin, 
one of our school outreach workers for once again facilitating the fifth grade peer leader initiative. Thank you, Mrs. Martin, for a job well done and for fostering a sense of pride and leadership with our students. Now I will hand it over to Mrs. Yermolovich. Thank you, Dr. Thomas. I would like to take this opportunity to recognize our Quinn Parent Teacher Organization. I'm sure every single one of you here tonight can agree that we have an amazing PTO that truly goes above and beyond for the Quinn community. The PTO meets monthly, sometimes more depending on upcoming events. The members and volunteers work hard to ensure that our students have access to resources, field trips, and fun activities in their classrooms. They also support field day and the fifth grade activity day that was held this past Tuesday. Speaking of that awesome day, the fifth grade activity day, can I please have any parent who helped plan this wonderful event stand up? It was grueling, exhausting. Please do not be shy and stand up. Without the dedication from these parents, the fifth grade event would not have been able to take place. Thank you to all the members for everything that you have done this year to make sure that each and every student is able to take part in something extra special throughout the year. And now, at this time, I would like to, like to recognize a few PTO members and special volunteers. Linda Hamilton. Linda's three boys have spent their elementary career at Quinn, and tonight she's celebrating the last one, her son Tyler. Linda has been involved in the PTO since her oldest started at Quinn, joining the PTO board in 2018. Since then, she has helped the PTO raise over $37,000 for field trips, classroom enrichment, summer reading books, staff appreciation, playground equipment, and so much more. Whether it's cheering events or committees, knocking on doors, for fundraisers and donations, or the countless hours she has spent at Quinn, she has made it all look easy. Linda's dedication to the Quinn community will be deeply missed. Thank you, Linda. Mrs. Katie Edgecombe. Katie is celebrating her second Quinn graduate tonight, her daughter, London. Katie has supported the PTO in countless ways over the years, whether it was organizing fifth grade fun days, covered in cotton candy for school events, last minute balloon runs for field day, or candy runs for trunk or treat. Katie has always been there to lend a hand whenever or wherever she is needed. Most recently, she's been the co-secretary of the PTO board, helping to manage communication and driving events. Thank you, Katie. Shannon Samoy. Shannon is here celebrating her fifth grade graduate, Eva. She has been invaluable to the PTO. She's a part of the staff appreciation committee. She runs the book fair and the holiday shop. Most of our students know her as the book fair lady. They think she works for Scholastic. But she spends enough time at Quinn that sometimes they think she's a Quinn. Um, Really, Shannon comes from her nursing job to spend the days here helping kiddos shop and make sure the shelves were fully stocked. Behind the scenes, she spends hours placing orders, organizing inventory, and counting change to make it all as seamless for students and volunteers. Thank you, Shannon. Elizabeth Belois. As a mom of two, Elizabeth is here cheering on her first Quinn graduate, Owen. Elizabeth has been an active member of the PTO since Owen was in kindergarten and has had several roles on the PTO board, most recently as the fifth grade yearbook chair. 
In addition, Elizabeth is the one behind the scenes, organizing pancake and waffle breakfast, playground meetups, and so much more. Thank you, Elizabeth. And last but not least, Melanie Francisi. As a mom of two, she's here celebrating her second Quinn graduate, Julia. But most of you know her as Nurse Melanie. Over the years, she's been the go-to for field day, ensuring the PTO has enough volunteers, organizing where they need to be and when they need to be there, all to ensure that field day is fun for all. Sometimes it's hard to tell who's having more fun, the kids or our volunteers. And Melanie is a key part of making that happen. Thank you, Nurse Melanie. So at this time, if I could have Julia, Tyler, Owen, Eva, and London, please come to the podium and receive flowers in beha on behalf of your amazing moms. And now is the time that you've all been waiting for. We'll be calling uh, classes up and calling students' names for certificates of completion. With that being said, I'd like to introduce to the stage Mr. Bowman. Good evening, families, friends, and of course, our fifth graders who are leaving us here at Quinn as they embark on their next journey at Dartmouth Middle School. Fifth graders, today is your day. You have shown remarkable perseverance and determination throughout your years in elementary school. You faced challenges head on, whether it was mastering a difficult math problem, completing a fine-tuned written essay, or navigating the ups and downs of friendships. Your resilience and hard work have brought you to this moment, and you should be incredibly proud of yourselves. As you move on to middle school, remember that the challenges you encounter are opportunities for growth. Embrace them with the same tenacity you have shown here. Middle school will bring new experiences, new friends, and new opportunities to learn and grow. I know it may be scary to think about it first, moving on from the comfort of Quinn, but I have no doubt that you will thrive just as you have done here. As we celebrate this day, your day, let us look forward to the exciting adventures that lie ahead. Always believe in yourselves, stay curious, and never stop learning. You are capable of amazing things, and I'm confident that you will make your mark in middle school and beyond. Congratulations to you all. I now have the honor of presenting Mr. Bowman's class of 2324. <laughs> Nolan Alfaya. <laughs> Jaslyn Alves. <laughs> Sophia Baker. Skylar Benjamin. <laughs> Lucas Diaz. <laughs> London Edgecombe. <laughs> Leo Grockmall Bullier. <laughs> Tyler Hamilton. Camila Legu. <laughs> Violet Leonardo. <laughs> Elliot Lucier. <laughs> Colin Magner. <laughs> Weston Matheson. Tyler Madeiras. Yeah. 
Dalton Nadu. Morgan Nadu. Pierce Norton. Madison Reynolds. Austin Rodericks. Bennett Ross. Ava Rudolph. Michaela Santiago. Benjamin Silva. Travis Tebbs. Owen Belois. Mason Vieira. And I give to you the class, Mr. Bowman's class of 23-24. And I'd like to now invite up Mrs. Deterra. No, I'm not doing the speech I did in class today. Good evening, parents, teachers, and most importantly, the incredible fifth grade students who are about to embark on a new chapter of their lives. Today we gather to celebrate a significant milestone in the journey of our young graduates, the transition from elementary school to the exciting world of middle school. I am beyond proud of each and every one of you. You have shown determination, resilience, and a thirst for knowledge that will undoubtedly lead you to great success in the future. As you leave behind the familiar hallways of elementary school, remember that this is just the beginning of a new adventure filled with endless possibilities. Embrace the challenges that come your way, for they will only make you stronger and more capable of achieving your dreams. Always remember the lessons you've learned here, both academically and personally. Carry the values of kindness, respect, and hard work with you wherever you go, and you will undoubtedly leave a positive impact on the world. Thank you for the joy you've brought me and our school and may your journey ahead be filled with endless opportunities and success. Congratulations once, once again and best of luck on your exciting new adventure. <laughs> Alexa Aguiar. <laughs> Nicholas Alves. Cameron Bollier. Christian Beevil. Sophia Brazida. Kyle Shavs. Nolan Condy. Ashton Cruz, Adriana De Silva, Jax DeMello, Eva Doyle, Zachary Garney. Taylor Hill, Peyton Medeiros, 
Maya Negron. Andrew Owen. Lacey Pacheco. Laney Powers. Alian, oh, I turned it off. Aliana, did it go? Yep. Aliana Silva. Yeah. Dylan Souza. Yeah. Emily Steele. Yeah. Avery Vieira. Yeah. Congratulations to Mrs. Deterra's class of 2023-2024. I'll now turn it over to Mrs. Feely and Mr. Wilderman. Good evening, fifth grade families, staff, and students. This year, our fifth grade class was truly a phenomenal group of students. Each and every one of you have grown so much throughout the course of this year, and we have shared so many laughs and memories. With that being said, it is no surprise that this class will always hold a special place in our hearts. We've watched you all grow both as students and as individuals. We're both so incredibly proud of all that you have accomplished this year and we wish you all the best to middle school. At this time, we'd like to ask our class to prepare to receive their fifth grade certificate. Logan Arujo. <laughs> Chad Bessie. Parker Bizarro. Charles Caruso. Mason Chase. Sophia Dutra. Brooklyn Grant Layla Jackson Christopher LeBlanc Colton Lanares Jayla Marks. Aaron Pereira. Gabriel Reed. Giovanni Silva. Evangeline. Shamoys. Quinn Souza. Gracie St. Laurent. Julia Thomas. One more round of applause for Ms. Feely's and Mr. Wildeman's 2023-24 class. And I'd like to hand it over to Ms. Mello. Thank you. 
Good evening, fifth graders and families. It is hard to believe that the end of the year is upon us. I want to thank each and every one of you for such a wonderful year here at Quinn Elementary. I am so thankful to have been a part of your last year in elementary school. Each one of you brought something very special to my classroom, and I am grateful for the opportunity to have taught you all. We have shared many laughs and fun moments over the school year, and I have enjoyed watching you all grow and mature. There is no doubt in my mind that you will all do great in your first year at middle school. Good luck to you all. I will now begin to call the graduates. Okay. Layla Curran. Yeah. Adriana DeBarros. Yeah. Anna Erotokritakis. Julia Franzizi. Dino Gavoni. Shane King. Brady Laviolette. Nora McNeil. <laughs> Ava Medeiros. <laughs> Scarlett Malachi. <laughs> Avery Mello. <laughs> Olivia Moniz. <laughs> Ronnie Patel. Yeah. Kaden Pereira. Yeah. Yeah. David Perry. Yeah. Olivia Pyers. Yeah. Christo Psychopatis. Declan Riley. <laughs> Lachlan Shook. Jordan Thompson. Landon Veloso. Liana Veloso. Manuel Washburn. <laughs> Miss Mellows 2024 graduates. <laughs> Next, I would like to introduce Miss Smith to the podium. Good evening, fifth grade families, staff, and students. Mrs. Rosa and I have watched you grow into thoughtful, responsible, considerate, and caring leaders. We are so proud of your accomplishments over the past year, where you grew stronger, not just in your academics, but in analyzing the world around you and in asking questions. Girls, thank you for keeping us young and hip on the latest trending TikToks and lingo. Boys, thanks for stressing out along with us during football, hockey, and basketball season. You have learned and applied everything from our mascot, Lido, and have become leaders not only in our classrooms, but in your homes and community. Be kind, be a good friend, and make good choices. As Mary Poppins says, open different doors. You may find another you there that you never knew was yours. Anything can happen. I want to say I am so proud of each and every one of you, and I will miss you next year. I know you will do amazing things, not only in middle school, but in high school and beyond. I want to leave you with something that I say to my boys every morning before school. 
learn a lot, have fun, and always try your best. Congratulations, my friends. Ava Amaral. Is We're going to announce you one more time, sweet. Thank you. Ava Amaral. Colton Caravana. Caleb Coleman. Jayla Conward Johnson. Reagan Cox. Nicholas D'Souza De Rosa. Colton Haywood. Kaylin Kelly. Sophia Lewis. Rylan Mastara. Zachary Mendonca. <laughs> Emma Ostagy. Chad Sacramento. Leilani Silvera. <laughs> Bentley Simoy. <laughs> Did I say that? Mm -hmm. Nigeria Sutton. <laughs> Jeffrey Silvio. Aurelia Tufano. And Jerry Zhu. Congratulations, Mrs. Miss Smith and Mrs. Rosa, class of 2023-2024. I would, like, <clears throat> I would like to congratulate all of the fifth grade students and their families on this huge accomplishment. At this time, it is my pleasure to officially introduce you to Quinn's fifth grade class of 2024. Please give a huge round of applause to all of our fifth graders. So at this time, our celebration has come to an end. Thank you all so much for coming tonight. Please stay and take pictures. We have a 2024 sign in the corner, but you're uh, more than welcome to take pictures anywhere. Again, congratulations to everybody. Congratulations to our students. And thank you very much for being here tonight. Have a good night.